Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. The Boeing 747-8 and the Airbus A380 are two iconic aircraft, often compared for their size, performance, and market presence. Both represent the pinnacle of modern aviation engineering, designed to carry large numbers of passengers across long distances efficiently. While each aircraft has its unique features and advantages, they also compete in the same segment of the market, making the comparison between them particularly intriguing. Let's delve into a detailed analysis of their specifications, features, and their respective impacts on the aviation industry. The Boeing 747-8 represents the final iteration of the renowned Boeing 747 family, serving as Boeing Commercial Airplane's largest aircraft. Following the introduction of the 747-400, Boeing explored larger variants. As potential competitors to the proposed double-deck, Airbus A3XX later developed into the Airbus A380. Conversely, the Airbus A380 stands as a colossal, wide-body airliner. Developed and manufactured by Airbus. It holds the distinction of being the world's largest passenger airliner. Featuring a full-length, double-deck design, Airbus initiated studies for the A380 in 1988, formally announcing the project in 1990 to challenge the Boeing 747's dominance in the long-haul market. Boeing 747 and the Airbus A380 stand as titans in the world of commercial aviation. Let's delve into detailed comparison and features side by side. Boeing 747-8 is powered by GE NX2B67 turbofan engines, delivering 66,500 pound force of thrust. On the other hand, Airbus A380 is propelled by Rolls-Royce Trent 900 turbofan engines, generating an impressive 81,500 pound force of thrust. When it comes to price, the Boeing 747 boasts a price tag of $418.4 million slightly lower than the Airbus A380, which has $445.6 million. In terms of avionics, the Boeing 747 is equipped with Rockwell Collins avionics. While the Airbus A380 utilizes Thales Rockwell Honeywell combo technology, the Boeing 747-8 demonstrates superior fuel economy covering 0.12 nautical miles per gallon, 0.059 kilometers per liter. Compared to the A380s is 0.1 nautical miles per gallon, 0.049 kilometers per liter. In terms of passenger capacity, the Boeing 747-8 accommodates 467 passengers. While the Airbus A380-800 leads with a staggering 853 seats. However, both aircraft offer a similar travel range of 8,000 nautical miles, 14,816 kilometers, making them ideal for long-haul flights. In terms of performance, the Boeing 747-8 achieves a maximum cruise speed of 533 knots, 987 kilometers per hour, with an approach speed of 145 knots. Airbus A380-800 attains a maximum cruise speed of 587 knots, 1087 kilometers per hour, with a slightly lower approach speed of 135 knots.
Boeing 747-8 has a length of approximately 76.25 meters, 250 feet. With a wingspan of 68.4 meters, 224.41 feet. Airbus A380 boasts impressive dimensions. With a length of approximately 72.72 meters, 238 feet and a wingspan, spanning a remarkable 79.75 meters, 261 feet. In terms of dimensions, the Airbus A380 surpasses the Boeing 747-8 in several aspects. It boasts a larger cabin height of 24.09 meters, 79 feet. However, the Boeing 747-8 maintains its distinction with a taller tail height of 19.51 meters, 64.01 feet. One of the most distinctive features of the Boeing 747 is its humpback upper deck, which sets it apart from other commercial aircraft. This design not only enhances the aircraft's aesthetic appeal, but also accommodates additional seating or even cargo space, depending on the airline's configuration. Diverging from the conventional layout seen in most commercial aircraft, the A380 stands out with its unique full-length double-deck design. This distinctive feature not only offers abundant space for passengers, but also enables versatile cabin configurations to meet different airline needs. As of now, the Boeing 747-8 and Airbus A380 is no longer in production. And many airlines are opting to avoid operating both the Boeing 747 and the Airbus A380 due to their high fuel consumption. In response to increasing pressure to reduce carbon emissions and operating costs, airlines are increasingly turning to newer aircraft models that offer improved fuel efficiency and environmental performance. The Boeing 747 and Airbus A380 were beloved by many, but they struggled to keep up with the times. Fewer airlines were ordering them, and they cost a lot to maintain. Now, they're no longer being made. Still, airlines like Emirates and Qantas are sticking with them, keeping these big planes in the sky. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both aircraft in the comment section.